This is the lab where researchers say the magic happens. You'll see the usual flasks and pipettes, no big deal. But the work being done here is far from ordinary. Well, that gets me up every morning, to be honest, to be able to think about you know, how can we really manufacture these treatments to help patients, whether it's genetic diseases or cancer. Dr. Hans-Peter Kiem is deputy director of the Translational Science and Therapeutics Division at Fred Hutch. His specialty is gene therapy and stem cell engineering, specifically for blood cell conditions like sickle cell disease and leukemia. Gene therapy is to simply correct a defective gene. His team's work harnesses existing breakthroughs like CRISPR, the gene editing technology that allows scientists to modify DNA at the molecular level. It can be used to correct genetic mutations that cause certain diseases, in this instance, defects in blood stem cells. Imagine there's letters in the genetic code, just like an alphabet. And we can now, if there's one letter is wrong, we can fix that letter. While gene editing has been around for years now, Keem's work at Fred Hutch follows a specific approach. Very often gene therapies are being done where we collect the cells, bring them to a facility, and then a very sophisticated procedure needs to be done to modify these cells again in a specialized laboratory, um, and then re-infuse the cells into the patient. But Dr. Keem's method found a way to simplify the process. Now, we simply infuse that medicine. Here's how. His team found a way to package virus-like particles that deliver the DNA fixers to defective cells, ultimately correcting the disease. While the findings are still undergoing clinical trials, it could be a game changer in gene therapy, making it more efficient and accessible. Can we call it a cure? It is a cure. Moments like these make him remember the reason why he came to Fred Hutch in the first place decades ago. And I came here because of Don Thomas and what we called the bone marrow transplantation back then really started everything. This lab is in the Thomas Building, the namesake for Dr. Donald Thomas, a Nobel Prize laureate whose groundbreaking work in bone marrow transplants set the tone for innovation at Fred Hutch, which is celebrating its 50th anniversary this year. Dr. Keem's findings are setting a new foundation in gene therapy. I suspect in the next really uh, five years there will be a lot of these treatments. For HealthLink, I'm Christine Pei reporting.